Hello, this is Moodle Chahabi and this is our fifth video of our Adobe After Effects course from scratch. In our previous video, we've talked about the alpha mat and the alpha inverted mat, as well as the luma mat and the luma inverted mat. We've also practiced three exercises on how to use and benefit from them. We've also learned how to add a video inside of a text. In our video today, we'll be talking more about the type tool, how to type in a path and how to animate it as well as we'll be doing four exercises and how to animate text in general. Our first exercise starts on the time shown in the screen and we will animate a text on a path. Second exercise starts on the time shown in the screen now. We will use the trim pass option to make some cool effects like the ones you're seeing now. Our third exercise starts on the time shown in the screen now. We will use the ramp up shape animation as well as we will create a mask to get the results you're seeing in the screen now. Our fourth animation today starts on the time shown in the screen. We will create a cylindric 3D animation like the sample you're seeing on the screen now. Also, you can see all the time frames for this video in the description below. Now, without any further ado, let's start. I will start here with the type on a path. You can select your type tool from your tools bar, or you can go to layer and you have new text. Or from here, just right click and go to new text, whichever easier for you. I will write after effect. Make sure your text layer is selected. Go to your shape tool and take whichever shape you like and draw a path. Now go and open your text layer, open path option, and from path here you choose mask one. That's the path you've just drawn. Now your text is lined up with your path. We just need some adjustment here and there, then we will animate it. Down here from first margin, click and make your first keyframe. Then move the values here to set the text right in front of you or to wherever you want your animation to start and end. Now move your timeline indicator about 20 frames further, then decrease the values till you give it a full cycle around your path. Now let's try your animation. I will select my keyframes, easy is them. Also, I'm gonna activate the motion blur icon on my layer. I will go to the graph editor to give them some cooler speed. Bear in mind also that with your direct selection tool, you can just click on your path and you can move it to wherever you want. You can make some cool shapes with it. You can shape it however you want to get some random effect. Our second animation, the trim path option. I've got my words ready. What we need to do is to select your layer, right click on it and go to create, then create shapes from text. What happened here, we just separated all the text to individual letters. Then from add, it choose trim path. Now we've got the trim path parameter. If you open it, you will see start, end, and offset. We'll talk about this in a minute later. First, I need to remove the fill from those shapes. Go to fill and you choose none, then hit OK. And from the stroke, I will choose a solid color. Then open the color option and get whichever color you want. I will increase the stroke level here up to 5. 
again to our trim path parameter here we've got start on a 0% and end at 100% which means from start to the end you will go from 0 to 100% if I increase the star here up to 25% it means you will hide about 25% of your words the more you increase the value in this the less you see in your shapes I will put it back on 0% and with the end option you set it at 100% value if you reduced it you will see less if you put it down to a 0% you will see nothing I will add a keyframe here at the 0% with the end option move my timeline indicator about 2.5 seconds farther then create the second keyframe at 100% value press the spacebar to get your cool animation going I can activate the motion blur icon easy ease my keyframes also I can take away the last keyframe to reduce the speed a little bit now how to use the offset option First I will remove the previous keyframe, set the timeline indicator at the start, move your star option about 20% to hide some of the shapes, also reduce the end option to about 60% or something. That's how your shapes look like. Now click on the stopwatch here to create your first keyframe on the offset option. Then take your timeline indicator like 4 seconds away or more. Hold and drag this value farther apart. Then from the loop option I will make it like 4. That's how many times you want the animation to loop between your keyframes. Same as before, easy ease my keyframes. Then play your animation. The strokes in your shape seem like they are chasing each other. Show more or less from your shapes from the start and the end option and control the speed from your keyframes to get the stunning animation effect. Now to our third animation, the ramp up option. I've already got my text in here. I will press on Ctrl R to get my ruler. I will take a line and place it right underneath my words. I need to know where exactly my words end because I'm gonna move their position later. Open your text parameter and from animate, choose position. Then from the position option, move your words and place them right underneath that line. Now open the range selector, then go to advanced option. And from shape here it shows the ramp up as we want those letters to be moving as individual letters and not as one object now we see the words start to growing up just a few more adjustments from the is low here pull it up to 100 percent and from the offset option Create a first keyframe and give it a minus 100% to bring everything down. Move your timeline indicator farther and make your second keyframe at 100%. Now we see your words are getting up where they're supposed to end. I will toggle my switches, activate my motion plure, easy ease my keyframe. Then play your animation. Now it's all good. We just need to hide our words before they start moving up. So we're gonna use the alphabet option like we've learned in our last video. Click on any empty area to deselect anything, then get your shape tool and draw a rectangle and place it right on top of that line again.
Now select your text layer and choose alpha mat. With the alpha mat concept, if you remember, anything within the boundaries is visible. However, anything outside is invisible. This way your words are hidden before they start. And you've got your animation ready to go. Control T to select your type tool. Write whatever you want. I will write 3D. It change your font and the size from the character panel as you wish. From the align panel, I'm gonna center my text. Check where is your anchor point because it's very important to center it in this exercise. Press Y to get your anchor point tool and center it. Now press on R to bring up the rotation option and give your layer here a 90 degrees rotation. I will tell you why in a second. In this exercise, we'll be using two built-in effects. First one is called CC Reptile. Hold it and place it on your layer. And what is that effect does? It repeats your text from any direction you want across your composition. So I will expand my text to the right all the way up to the end of my composition. Just make sure you stop at an end of a text. And you don't want to see those little extras here. Those little extras are going to affect your closing text loop at the end and you will see that in a minute. So I will take it back and remove those extras. Then from the expand left option, I will do the same. Also make sure you finish again at an end of a text. Now to our second effect and it's called CC Cylinder. Hold it and place it again in your text layer. This effect is going to wrap up all those texts in a circle. Now we're getting there. And now with the rotation option, open it and you will get the X, Y and Z parameter options. Take the X option to the right a little bit. Then from the Z option, push it to the left a little bit also. Keep moving until you get this lock. And from the Y option, we will rotate it. Set your timeline indicator at the beginning. Then click on that stopwatch on the Y option to create your first keyframe. Then move your timeline indicator for as far as you wish so. Then move those levels to the right to rotate those shapes and get your second keyframe. You can just play your animation now. To give it some extra effects, you have here the light and shading effects. Open the light and increase the light intensity a little bit. Change the white color if you wish so, but I will keep it. I will move up the light height as well. Change light directions till you get to the results that appeases your eyes. Looks cool, isn't it? That was our fourth and last animation for today. And hopefully after those exercises along with the previous video's animation, you got a good grasp of the animation concept with the keyframes to get going on your own. In our next video, we'll talk about the 3D options. Bear with me. Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.